good people. I'm Father Cyrus. I live here at Colorado Springs, Our Lady of the Angels Friary. I have been a priest for 55 years and a Capuchin for 61 years. 61, it's hard to believe. We Franciscan brothers and sisters have many, many good models to follow in holiness, and I'd like to spend a moment this morning with St. Padre Pio. Padre Pio was born on May 25, 1887, at Pietrosina in southern Italy. He was tutored privately until his novitiate in the Capuchin orders, order at the age of 15. Of feeble health but strong will, with the help of grace, he completed the required studies and was ordained a priest in 1910. Even as a priest, a Capuchin priest, he was recruited more than once into the Italian army during the First World War, but was always released because of his poor health. On September 20th, 1918, the five wounds of our Lord's Passion appeared on his body, making him the first stigmatized priest in the history of the Catholic Church. Countless persons were attracted to his confessional, and many more received his saintly counsel and spiritual guidance through many, many letters. His whole life was marked by long hours of prayer and continual austerity. His letters to his own spiritual director revealed his ineffable suffering, physical and spiritual, which accompanied him all through his life. They also reveal his deep love for God and his great devotion to our Blessed Lady and burning love for the Blessed Sacrament. Worn out by half a century of intense suffering and constant physical activity at his friary in San Giovanni Rotondo, Padre Pio was called to his heavenly reward on September 23, 1968. After a public funeral which attracted over a 100,000 mourners, his body was entombed in the crypt of Our Lady of Grace Church in his home friary, but now in a special basilica dedicated to his honor. Increasing numbers flocked to his tomb from all parts of the world, and many testify to many spiritual and temporal favors. On June 16, 2002, over 500,000 people, devotees of Padre Pio, gathered in Rome to witness St. Pope John Paul II proclaim Padre Pio the saint of Pietrosina. Padre Pio has much to offer us as a spiritual director. We can look at some of those things later, but now let us ask this good brother to keep us in his prayers. And we brothers here in the order now offer you our prayers and continue to focus on your prayers as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.